Hi, Dr. James here and it's Monday morning and I wanted to share something with you. My wife and I were just talking about this time of the year and we've been together uh, nearly 23 years and the thing that came up for us this morning, we always love to talk stories and different parts of our life and as we close in on the Christmas season and the holiday season, two weeks away, I was brought back to this idea about what it is, uh, this idea of service and this time of the year we can get so caught up in you know, our little agendas and our, and our mindset gets so narrow and we forget about uh, the post office people and the people at UPS who are running in and carrying packages. And I got to tell you a quick story. Um, when my wife and I were first engaged, we were planning on getting married the, the, the following summer before the holidays and we needed money. Uh, we needed money for school. We were in medical school. We needed money to pay for our wedding and we were doing anything we could to make money. And we saw in the newspapers up in Portland, Oregon, an opportunity for seasonal work with UPS. So my wife and I went and uh, checked it out and uh, they paid really, really well. The hours were tough on top of med school, going to classes and then delivering package before and after. But at the introductory meeting, they said, um, and this is what you have to do. You have to be athletic. You have to not be, <coughs> excuse me, be afraid of carrying packages and out in the weather. And I was, it's all fine for me. And then they said, you have to have short hair, or if you have long hair, you have to hide it. Now, back in those days, I was sporting the ponytail down to about here, and um, I was quite attached to it. And I thought to myself, gosh, I gotta find a way to hide the ponytail, which my wife and I were very effective at. We put up in a little bun, I had a great hat. It, it, was, it was tucked away. But more importantly than the hair, and I say much, much, much more important than the hair, was one of the things I took to heart about that position. Um, being in a UPS truck and running out of cars and trucks and delivering packages for about a month, if you will, before Christmas, I learned a lot about one great big lesson. And that one great big lesson is service. And how easy it is to get caught up this holiday season and get our little uh, blinders on and only see our agenda. If you really, really want to enjoy the fruits of this season, and there are so many to be grateful for, so many blessings, give yourself permission to invite in all that's going on and be appreciative, be grateful. When someone's delivering a package to your house, don't just you know keep going, take five seconds, open the door and say thank you. When you go to any place where someone's serving and they're you know, extra busy because the holidays, take a moment and say thank you. As I look back at my days at UPS, I know it was just a month, but during that month, I learned so many lessons. One of the great things I learned is that between the truck and the house I was delivering to, my partner, and I'll remember his name was Hank, an older guy I've been with UPS for nearly 30 years, used to say, it's all about how you deliver. It's all about how you deliver. And I would take that package and I would wind sprint to that house and I would run back and we made a game at how well we could deliver. So on this Monday before the holidays or these next 8, 12, 14 days, think about this question and think about your answers. How well can you deliver? Deliver on service, deliver on showing your appreciation, deliver on expressing your blessings and your gratitude for yourself and the, if you will, the spirit of the season and all who make this whole thing work. It's an opportunity for all of us to be alive to the degree that we serve and appreciate the blessings of the season. Deliver big, deliver well, and be awesome as you are. Have an awesome week. Thank you.